In this video, I'll show you how to use the ECG function of your Fitbit Charge 6. So let's get started. So on your Fitbit, wake the screen and then swipe towards the right side until you see ECG. You see on the top here? Then press on this function. You need to set up this function on your phone before being able to use it. This is, only happens once and once you set up your ECG, you won't have to do it each time you want to use this function. This is just for the first time. So from here, I'll go down and usually you should find the open button here, but I don't know why it cannot find my phone, although it's just beside me. Yeah, the open is not available. Just go on your app. You're going to go over here where it says you. Then you're going to go down and under health assessments, swipe once and you should see ECG and a setup button. Press on setup, then press on get started. From here, you're going to need to input your birth date over here and then press next. Go down. And here I suggest you read it. I won't pass through every single um, information from here, but usually you need to read it and then press allow. If not, it won't work. It will now tell you how it works and how to position your fingers, but I'll show you just in a few seconds. And on the next screen, it will tell you what kind of results you can expect from the ECG. So you can have normal sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation or inconclusive. Again, I suggest you take the time and inform yourself about every single results that you can get since I'm not a doctor and I don't think I can explain you well what each of these things means. So now I'll press next. They'll even give you a small video here on how to position your fingers. Press done once you watch it, or although you're watching my video. And now you can set this phone on the side. We don't need it. Go in the app. Okay, back in ECG. Tap on it. Go down. And now you should see ready since we have set up this um, function on our phone. So press the ready button. It will ask you on which wrist you're wearing your watch. So in my case, it's left. So I'll press on left. Have a seat, try to relax, keep your hands still. So I'll do this, I'll put my hand on my table here, I'm sitting. And press on the button, I'm sitting. Put the index finger and the thumb on the metal side. You see, on each side of your Fitbit, there are some metal sides. Well, just need to put them like this and stand still. I'll stop talking so I'm more relaxed. Okay, now that it's done, you're going to see data collected on the screen and it will analyze and it will give you a result. If you didn't position your finger as they should, as I told you, I, I, you don't need to squish, by the way, the watch very hard. I'm not even squishing. I'm just uh, putting my finger on the side, barely touching the watch without putting pressure. That's the important part. So here I got a result, normal sinus rhythm, blah, blah, blah. You need to go down over here and press done. Now let's check on the app the result we just got. Here we don't have anything because the watch is not synced with the app yet. To sync your Fitbit, just close this, go on today and slide down and the Fitbit will be synced with the app. Now that we got the result, we can go back and you then go down ECG and over here on the top we're going to see the result normal sinus rhythm press on it and you'll be able to export the results so you can give them to your healthcare provider so they analyze it themselves since uh, you probably won't know what to do with this over here, by the way, we see the average uh, beats per second. And if we press uh, export a PDF of, uh, for your provider, then press got it. Tap on the top here. 
download PDF. You'll be able to share it on an email or maybe you want to save it on your phone. In my case, I want to save it on my phone in downloads, save. Now let's take a look at the results. Here are the results that have been saved. If I tap on it, we can see the reading of the ECG. And this is in a PDF format that is very easy to share via email or any other ways you um, communicate your documents with your healthcare provider. And by the way, you don't need to have the Fitbit premium subscription to have access to this feature. I was afraid you need to pay a monthly fee to get access to the ECG, but that's not the case. You can have the results I just showed you without having that. So I hope this was helpful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.